Hello everybody, it's me Jacob. Now, are you like me? Do you like modifying Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom, hacking it, or just looking for unused textures in the game? Do you hate the way you have to use Dolphin to rip every texture by having the game run? That slow lag, having to go everywhere in the world, do everything to get all the textures you need? I sure do. Well now, there's a magic tool that allows you to see every texture from every version of the game. It's called Magic TXD. Now, I will put a link to that in the description, but this is an amazing program that I just found out about that lets you see textures from every version of SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Um, I haven't tested it with the movie game, but it might work with that, so let's try out. Now, this is made for games like um, Grand Theft Auto, but because Grand Theft Auto uses the same engine as um, Spongebob, it works. It works with everything. Like That was the whole goal of this thing, was to work with every texture format for RenderWare engine. So you're going to go... Well, first we need to get some files for it. So you're going to use your quick BMS, which I'm not going to do another tutorial for that. Now, you know what? Let's go to the Xbox demo, show you how compatible it is. Alright, now before we start, let's just do one thing. We're going to go shift, right click on the folder that you have the files gripped to. Open command window here. Now, you don't have to do this, but make, this makes the process a lot easier. Ren, this sign, I forget what that's called. I think it's the, the times sign. Dot, RW, TX, time symbol thing, dot, TXD. Hit enter. Alright, that'll make everything a lot easier. Now, file, open. Go to the folder you have everything in. Give it a second, and boom! You don't even have to put them in. The, you, the program will automatically see them as it is. Now, it does have problems with one or two textures, like the bubble wand texture for some reason. I don't know why. But, like, that's the only texture I've seen so far that doesn't work with the program. But, everything else... Now, the reason you have to change it to RW... I mean, to TXD, is because if you change it to TXD, it'll automatically show you a preview for the files without you having to open them. Like this... If you kept it as RWTX, you would have to manually open each one to see what it looks like. But now, without even opening any, without even clicking on any of the files, we can see all the textures. Look at that. All the textures. So let's just take, um, I don't know, this texture. This is the stun texture when a robot gets stunned. Alright, and then we're going to go export, and then we're going to select, I uh, like PNG. We'll go desktop, new folder 2, and save. Now, we have that texture. It is a PNG. It's 5.75 kilobytes. What was the original size? Wow. I didn't realize that. Their stupid compression thing, or I don't know if they're using compression or just changing the file format, but it makes the file larger size. That's stupid. But yeah. And now, okay, you might say, well, what if I don't want all the tech, what if I want all the techers at once? I don't want to do this one at a time shit. Well, there's a simple solution for that. Also, if you heard that beeping, that was my headphones. Alright, we're going to go mass export. All right, we're gonna browse. We're gonna go to the folder where all your um, your convert, where all your ripped textures are. That's my new folder, and you're gonna select where you want them to go. New folder two is already already pre-selected, and select your image format. I like PNG. All right, and just hit export, and boom, they're all there, and all of them are .png or whatever file format you selected. Boom, everything is good. You don't have to use Dolphin anymore. Dolphin is never needed ever again. You can even see stuff like, I think this is an unused texture actually. So you could see stuff like unused textures, everything like that. Yep, this one is. Never use Dolphin for texture ripping ever again. This is a free program, by the way, it's open source. And I don't have any, I'm not, I didn't, never did any work on this project, but 
The only reason I'm advertising this is because I think it's such an important project for anybody who wants to hack or look at unused stuff from BFVP. This is a very important program. So yeah, you got everything now. The original resolutions, everything. Alright, so let's just wipe that all out and we'll show you that it can work with all the platforms. Alright, now let's try the actual Xbox ISO, not the Xbox demo. Go to right click, open command window, ren, that symbol, or WTX, that symbol again, TXD, hit enter. And there you go, all the textures from the original Xbox version, not the demo. So you can see stuff like this, which is for Robot Spongebob. Oh yeah, you gotta do that sometimes. Which this is a 5 by 12 texture. 5 12 by 5 12, sorry. You got it all there, you can export it as um, PNG. There you go. So we're gonna look at the next thing. We'll load up. So this is important for that. Oh wait, I gotta do the conversion thing. Ren It can open the raw RWTX files, but it'll it won't preview them. This is better. You see this? I think this is um this is different from the final button. I can't tell. But yeah, here's the files from the GameCube version of the unused Goo Lagoon level. You can see all the textures like this cow. Why? I don't know. Alright, we got every texture. Even a little Gary thing. Even the Tiki. Alright, and we're gonna version the PS2 version. Alright, we've now converted them to TXD. Alright, and now we can see them all. We can see all the textures. That's from the PS2 version. see everything. He even gets that whole white thing where like there's blank space supposed to be there. He gets that too. So there you go. That is the um... That is the um... The, from the PS2 version. That's everything. That is from every version of BFBB except for the PC version but who gives two crafts about the PS... the PC version. Alright, well, I'm going to see if I get the movie version, but if not, it's just going to cut off here. Alright, now I got the um, the movie versions files, and it works with the movie version as well. Now, I'm only testing this with the GameCube version of the movie game, but I would assume that this would probably work with all versions of the movie game as well. So that's cool too, because there isn't much um, a new stuff so far we found from the movie game. This could help with textures. Oh, I actually find that funny. In the game, they can't call David Hasselhoff David Hasselhoff because they don't have the rights to his name. But in the files, they still call him Hasselhoff. That's cool. But, uh, yeah. So you can even use this with the, um, the movie game. That is cool. Ah, uh, okay. It has some problems with some stuff in the movie game. But it still looks like it got it.
All right. So that is all. It even on the bottom it displays the um the version from like it displays the GameCube logo because this is from GameCube. So yeah. Um, um, I do not think it can backwards convert, like, I don't think it could take PNG or, T or, um, JPEG files and send them back into, um, RWTX or TXD files. I don't think it could do that. I've tried and I can't find a way. And, um, although that would be cool for modding, um, I don't know how to contact the developers to ask for that. But, um, yeah, you should definitely use this program. Link is in the description. I am so happy that somebody made this program. It is the best program. Bye.